Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV. Glad to see you here. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about the Adventure Trail Gear 5 pound propane bag. Stick around. Hey, welcome to Cheaper Cheaper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. Now, some of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you've seen some of the DIY content where I show you how to construct some camping gear yourself and save some money. Now, some of the gear that I've reviewed was sent to me and I thought that the gear was pretty interesting, pretty good, so I reviewed it and I shared with you my impressions. But I have to admit, I was approached to promote some other gear which I thought I wouldn't even use and I couldn't in good conscience promote those items so I chose not to do those items. But another point of conflict for me was sometimes I would see things online with the online stores and I thought to myself wouldn't it be nice if I could support a local business, if I could find the same product with the same quality and the same price, even if it was marginally a little bit more expensive, I would choose to perhaps go to a local retailer. An example of that would be I was looking at drones and I know I could find lots of opportunities to find equipment online, but I also learned that there's a retailer about an hour away from my town and I thought when the time comes that I get a drone, I'll go there and support the local businesses that way. But what do you do if there's an item that you can't find locally easily, but you can find them online? Well then it makes sense to go ahead and just buy them online. And a few of my products, like the saddlebags, for example, were not items that I could just find at the local box store. So they are something that I would purchase online. They're a good product and they were a quality product. So with all that being said, two videos ago, I commented how I was looking for a solution on how to mount my propane tank. So if any of you out there have some suggestions, I'm all ears. Well, Phil over at Adventure Trail Gear had sent me a product that I feel will certainly meet my needs and it might meet yours as well. So let's have a look. Phil from Adventure Trail Gear had sent this five pound propane tank bag and it's designed to be secured to the exterior of your Jeep either on one of your types of roof racks that have a ladder and his website also lists other roof racks that they tested it on or in my case and more likely your case onto a tire and I'm going to show you how it secures to a tire in a second but let's have a look at the bag there's the adventure trail gear leather patch and if you request it you can get it in vegan format so it's not real leather but if you want a real leather you get a nice label on that pocket right here and this external pocket is where you can store your hose for your propane tank and the adapter to connect to your grill or your stove. So that's kind of handy to be able to secure that out of the way. And then it has a handy carrying handle. So once you remove it from your tire and you want to take it to your kitchen table or your picnic table where your stove is, you can just carry it in the bag like this. And then it's got these metal spring-loaded buckles to help secure the straps to wherever you're securing this on your Jeep, whether it's the tire or the ladder of your roof rack or what have you. So it's pretty sturdy. They look to be very thick straps. And then there's another securing point here. If you were securing this to a ladder, for example, there's another strap, but for your tires, you just need these two and I'll demonstrate shortly. And then we'll just sort of turn the bag around so you can just sort of see it's made of this very, very durable PVC coated vinyl product. It is really thick and this seems like it's going to hold up for a long time. Now, new to their five pound propane bags now, they began to include a cap for the bag, so a cover. And interestingly, the zipper is underneath this lip. And you can see how thick this product is. This is a very durable product. And you can just flip this lip up and there's a double zipper so you can choose where and how to unzip the 
top based on where you mount it and what would be convenient for you. So that gives it a little bit of flexibility, which is nice. And then there you have inside the five pound propane tank secured inside the bag. Also, interestingly, both the front pocket has a grommet and the whole bag itself has two grommets at the bottom which allows for ventilation of air and should somehow any water get in there it would permit water to drain out and then if you wanted to just again secure this back down the zippers are very good quality thick zippers you can see how thick these zippers are here and once you have the zipper all the way around you can put this flap all the way down I mean, it doesn't look like they messed around here in the construction of this bag. This is very solid. And when you have this on your Jeep all summer, you're not going to be needing to replace it anytime soon because it seems very, very durable, very solidly constructed. And so what I'm looking at here is a solution to my needs about how to secure the tank to the outside of the Jeep so I'm not traveling with it in the Jeep. And it doesn't involve my putting holes in my top or requiring an expensive roof rack. Now, I believe the price for this is in the order of $60, $65 US, and that's 80 something Canadian. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to Adventure Trail Gear's website and their Facebook page, because you may wanna check out their website and their Facebook page, because they also have a number of other products which look to be excellent in that they're made of the same durable quality as for example this bag but they meet other needs for example they have a bag similar to this but a little bigger that you can hang on the back of your tailgate of your truck or the tire of your jeep to hold garbage they also have some other carrying bags they have a chainsaw bag they have a lot of amazing products and they look like they're going to be creating more as their company grows now, interestingly, they sourced the materials for the creation of these bags from the US and Canada. They're handmade in Canada. Now, the owner of the company, his name is Phil. He's a member of the Red Force Armed Forces. And I guess on his spare time, he creates adventure trail gear based on his own experience going jeeping himself. And I guess he's just sharing his experience and building quality products at a reasonable price. I just find for me, this costs me less than the metal bracket option. It's more flexible in terms of how I can implement it, whether it be any part of my tire or if I had a special roof rack that I wanted to mount it to, I could do that too. And I don't have to keep this thing permanently mounted to my Jeep when I'm not camping, for example. So go ahead and check out the website. And also in the comments section below, let me know what you think about this or some of their other products because I'm sure they'd like to know as well. Okay, let's first see how you put this on your tire. If you're doing it by yourself, you just hold the bag and the tank in between your body and the tire and then you just feed the straps through your rim. Once you have the first strap on, it gets a little easier now because you don't have to position your body to keep the tank in place because the first strap keeps the tank in place. Now we'll put on the second strap. Now depending on what style rim you have, you could configure your straps the way you want. That's my first try at it and it seems to work pretty good. You can see it's on very snug and these are very strong straps and the buckle on the other side is a metal spring loaded clamp. Now what I'm going to do is connect this tank to the other side of the tire so you can actually see how I put the strap through the metal buckle. So I feed the strap up underneath through the buckle and then 
I tighten it and that'll hold the bag in place so I can put in the second strap. Once again, I feed it up from underneath and then I just pull that nice and tight. Then that's on nice and solid. Strong straps and the steel buckle hold it securely in place. And the other cool thing is that it's the straps themselves that are holding the tank. The secure bag is in place because of the straps. It doesn't rely on the stitching to hold it in place. Here's the handle that'll be helpful to carry it later. And the bag that holds the hose. Now I can still secure the bag to this side of the tire if I wanted and it won't hit the side of the Jeep. But you could double check on your Jeep based on what kind of tire you have mounted to the back, if you have a tire carrier or not. But if you don't have a tire carrier, you may want to have the location of the tank lifted a bit so that you don't hit the light. So just be careful of that. Let's have a look and see what this looks like. So you can see with the bag mounted here, it clears the Jeep no problem. But if I wanted to use the tank in place right here and use the hose to run to my propane stove in my chuck box mounted at the back of the Jeep, I could do that. So as you can see here, if I wanted to be using my chuck box connected to the platform as you see in this configuration, I can just leave the propane tank in place connected to the tire and just run the hose to the stove. Similarly, if I just wanted to use this on one of the tables of the 6-in-1 Coleman camping table or even a picnic table, I could move my chuck box there and then easily remove the tank from the tire and take it to the table. So if you have a JK and you don't have a rear view camera, you could even connect the tank right to the center of the rim. And if you have your third brake light located down here, you could even, if you wanted, locate the bag on top of the tire. And just feed the straps through the rim this way. But you can see how very strong, very sturdy the connection is with your tire. And there's lots of room still to grab the handle. So it's very quick and easy to remove when you need it. And if you check with the Adventure Trail Gear website, they also identify the specific racks that they've tested that this bag will connect to. Technically, the bag could be mounted anywhere you want to put it on the tire. I personally would put it either on this side or the other side. So a special shout out to Phil at AdventureTrailGear.com for this outstanding product and I look forward to reviewing it in some upcoming videos when we're actually out on the trails. And if you want to see those, make sure you subscribe and click the alert bell so you don't miss those upcoming episodes. Hopefully you found that interesting. Now let's move on to our tip segment. Now for some cheaper, cheaper tips. For this week's tip, I was kind of thinking when this propane tank is full, you have all kinds of surety that you've got lots of propane, but it's hard to tell when you're starting to run low on these things. I mean, it's a much wiser option to go with the five pound refillable tank because it costs way less and it's better for the environment. So it's the smart way to go. But what do you do when you're not sure how close you are to the end? Well, my recommendation in this week's tip is to just carry one of these one pound propane tanks around just for that extra insurance that should the five pound tank run out, you have this to carry you or just to finish your dinner until you can get out and refill this tank. But then again, you're left with the question, how do I store this? I don't want to keep it in the Jeep. Well, here's an idea. Well, I'm not sure what the situation is behind your Jeep. I have the tire carrier of the JL and I can easily fit one of these bottles right back in here like this and I'll just secure it with a bungee cord. So 
So there you go. The bungee cords are gonna hold that nice and snug in place. It doesn't even budge. There you go. And now let's hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from a viewer who watched the Rugged Ridge HD full width bumper install video. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, $50 cheaper at Morris 4x4, signed Edward. Hey Edward, I see you're a man of few words, but that's a great tip and you could save interested people $50 if that discount is still in effect. And if you have any subscriber tips that you'd like to leave in the comments section below, please do so as it may make it into a future episode. Thank you very much. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the alert bell so you don't miss our next episode. And if you did find the video helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Until the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.